So today we're going to be looking at uh, the class of uh, poses in yoga known as inversions. Now don't get nervous. No headstands, no shoulder stands. What an inversion means is simply a position where your head is below your heart. And it's good for all kinds of reasons. Certainly it gives you a new perspective on life, helps to clear out the cobwebs, and it's been shown to help balance the thyroid gland. So if you're trying to regulate your weight, it's a very helpful thing to do. Just a few caveats though. If you have high blood pressure that is not well controlled with medication, I invite you to do a more modified version of the forward fold and not to stay in the forward folds too long. And the same applies if you're dealing with glaucoma or increased pressure in your eye. So it's a good idea to be careful with inversions under those two circumstances. So let's begin. So let's take our seats and carve out this moment in time to simply focus on our breath, our body, our practice. Allowing your eyes to close and directing all of your attention towards your breath. With each breath you take in, becoming a little more grounded in your seat, feeling your feet on the floor, your body in the chair, and creating a little lift through the crown of your head so your spine can lengthen. All that needs to happen now is for you to sit, breathe, and become present. As you tune into your breath, see if you can become aware of how the breath feels, front to back, side to side in the body, and top to bottom. Experiencing the breath in all parts of your body. If it's comfortable for you, allowing your breath to get a little bit deeper. So the breath actually begins deep down in the belly, soft, open belly. Moving up through the chest all the way to your shoulders. And exhaling from the top down, shoulders, chest, and belly. wave after wave of breath. If you notice that your attention is moving away from the moment, just take the opportunity to connect with the next breath. Let's take three more complete breaths. And at the end of that third exhale, putting aside that technique and just letting your natural breath find you again. Notice how you feel. And we'll bring our centering to close by bringing hands to heart center and combining our voices in the sound of OM. Deep breath in. OM. OM. Shanti. Peace. May we all know peace. 
So let's begin with our six movements of the spine, letting your feet be flat on the floor and hip width apart. As you breathe in, chest coming forward, head looking up. And as you exhale into cat, tuck your chin, roll off your sit bones. So again, moving at a pace that's comfortable for you between cat and dog. And visualizing the back body, the bones of your spine. Seeing if you can move them one at a time, like beads on a string. Sometimes you don't notice how much stiffness is present in the body until you actually begin to move. So this feels really good. Once more, breathing into dog and exhaling into cat. And then bring it back to center. Good. Let's prepare for our twist. We'll start with the right arm, stretch it out. Exhaling, bringing that to your left knee, left hand to your chair. Lengthen on that in-breath. Grow tall in your seat. And the exhale is the signal to begin to rotate your spine. For that deeper stretch, you can take the left leg and cross it over the right. Find that breath. Good, one more breath on this side. And on an exhale, bring it back. Let's go to the other side, left arm reaches forward. A lot of energy in that reach. See if you can reach all the way across the room. Good, exhale, bring that palm to your right knee, right hand to the chair. Lengthening on the in-breath, rotating on the exhale. Adding the leg cross, if you'd like. How about one more breath here? Good, inhale and exhale, come around to the front. Ready for thread the needle? Let's do it. Right arm stretches out. Exhale, slide it along your thigh. Now this is an opportunity to begin to add some forward folds. So I'm gonna ease myself forward, only to your comfort level. And I'm gonna add a sweep with my left arm. You can go to the side, or if your body allows, bring it all the way up. So a nice rotation in the spine. Good, inhale and exhale, bring it back. Other side, stretch that arm out, left arm stretches out, slide it along, ease yourself in, forward fold. And a smile. Easy breath. Make sure the head stays relaxed, neutral. And bring it up. Take a breath. Wonderful. Let's sweep the arms up from the shoulders. Inhale, turn the palms up. Exhale, turn them down. Inhale, palms come up. Exhale down. One more time up. And then exhale, turn them down. So this time when the palms come up, we're gonna leave them up. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor. Exhale, touch your fingertips to your shoulders. Inhale, open wide with the breath. Exhale, fingertips to shoulders. Exhale, extend. 
When the fingertips rest on the shoulders this time, make sure your elbows are directly out from the shoulders. If you can manage it, let's circle. And we'll do about three or four circles in one direction. Hi, sweet pea. You gonna do yoga? Let's go the other way. They always like to get in on the action when I'm teaching. Good. So we're gonna rotate now to the right. Bring it back to center, to the left, back to center. And again, let's go from side to side. Just warming up the spine. Good. So now I'm gonna come into a forward fold, bringing the elbow on one side to the opposite knee. Now, if your body only comes part way, that's just fine. I'm going to try to bring my elbow all the way down to my opposite knee. Inhale, bring the elbow up. Exhale to the other side. And really focus on the breath. Good. Exhaling as you fold. Inhaling as you lift. You can accentuate the sound of the exhale. Ha. Huh. Couple more times. Great. And open those arms wide. Exhale, turn the palm down and allow your arms to float down. Take a few breaths. So, one of the postures in yoga is called yoga mudra, which means the symbol of yoga. And it's the symbol of yoga because in it, the head is below the heart, which is a reminder to us that the wisdom that we need lies very often within the heart rather than just in our thoughts. So sweep your arms up. Good, this is like a sleepwalker position. Inhale, exhale, turn your palms outward and sweep them around behind you. Interlace your fingers and press your palms together so the shoulder blades are kissing one another. Good. And relax. Good. Bring that squeeze up again, shoulder blades together and relax. And again, breathe in, squeeze those shoulders this time, hold the squeeze and begin to fold forward, whatever your comfort level is. Hands can stay at the lower back if you like, or you can begin to lift them overhead. Keep focused on your breath. Good, keeping the squeeze in those shoulder blades. Let's release that and come up. Uninterlace your fingers. Ooh, let your arms sweep around and lower your palms to your thighs. Take a few breaths here. So I'm gonna interlace my fingers in front and I'm just gonna do some easy figure eights. We always like to work those little muscles, joints, tendons. I'm just doing a roller coaster with my fingers. So this movement is coming through my hands, through my wrists, all the way up to the shoulders. And then pause and let's reverse. Feels weird to go the other way. Nice lazy finger. And relax. Good. Shake out those hands. Let's focus a little bit on the lower body. So I'm going to bend my right knee and begin to draw it up. Hands can come behind the thigh. You can use your yoga tie behind your thigh. I'm just going to interlace my fingers below the knee and invite that knee up a little higher. Where are your shoulders? Let them relax down your back. Find your breath. Okay. 
and we work the fingers. Let's work the toes and the ankles a little bit. We'll circle. Circle that foot. So it's just the foot that's moving, loosening up the ankle. And let's go the other way. And now see if you can draw that knee up just a little bit higher. Wonderful. Let's move into the figure four stretch. So crossing at the ankles, crossing at the knees, or placing the foot up on top of your left thigh. Good. Sit up nice and tall. Press down on the knee, pull up on the foot. So what you're looking for is just the right amount of sensation. Now, if you like, I'm gonna add another forward fold here. So feel free to join me. Just bending forward, watching sensation and staying connected with breath. Let your breath go to the place where the sensation is most strongly felt. Great, inhale, come on up. Take a beautiful breath, exhale, uncross. And let's take a breath between sides. So the left foot crosses over wherever is comfortable for you. I'm bringing that foot up on top of my right thigh. Other foot flat on the floor. So I notice sometimes folks move their leg out to the side like that. But if you can, try to place the foot directly under your knee. Good. Down on the knee, up on the foot. And I'm moving into a forward fold here. Feel free to join me. And then inhale, come on up. Let's bend that knee and draw it up. So we're hugging the knee close, but we're not using the shoulders to pull the leg up, keeping those shoulders relaxed. How about some ankle circles here? And other direction. So we're going to be doing the uh, sun salutation and the moon salutation, and we'll do it um, seated. And we may also do some of it standing. So know that you always have the option. If you don't want to do the standing version, you can always go back to the seated version. And both the sun and the moon salute have nice forward folds in them. So let's be looking at those in particular. Starting with the sun, palms pressed together waking up the muscles of your arms. Inhale, allow those arms to sweep up. Exhale, lengthen and reach back. Good, inhale back to mountain. And now here comes the forward fold. Arms open, down, head is relaxed. Inhale, come up part way. Exhale and fold again. As you inhale, let's reverse swan dive, bring those arms up and reach it back. Breathing back to mountain and back to your heart. Good, once again, breathe in. Exhale, reach it back. Coming back to mountain and beginning your forward fold. Out breath. Palms to knees, come up halfway. Exhale and fold. 
Inhaling, arms sweep up again, reaching back. Take your breath in and then draw it right back to your heart. Pause for a breath. And let's move into the moon salute. Arms come up. So you have a couple of choices here. You can interlace your fingers and reach up with your pointer fingers. But if your shoulders are really up around your ears, try separating your arms to create a little space. Inhale. And on an exhale, we're going to bend directly to the side. Sit bones stay on the chair. Good, inhaling back through center. And let's dive over to the left. Find that breath, don't lose it. Bring it back through center, bend back. Come back through center. And now we're going to do a forward fold, but unlike the sun, the arms are going to stay together. So let's hinge at the hips. Lengthen and reach all the way down to the floor. Take a minute to relax your arms, relax your neck, shake it out. Re-engage those arms and let's come up. And exhaling to the left, half moon. Guiding yourself back through center and over to the other side. Back through center and back to rest at your heart. So let's review the seated forward fold. Those big muscles on the backs of the legs, the hamstrings get very, very tight. So this is a good way to stretch them out. If a standing forward fold doesn't work for you. So I'm going to begin with my feet directly under my knees. So we're going to progress this, this stretch a little bit at a time. Take a breath in and fold forward. So there should be a little space between your legs to allow for the fold. Coming as far as is comfortable. Inhale and come up. I'm gonna progress that stretch a little bit just by moving my feet slightly forward. Hmm. Maybe five to six inches, good. Breathe in and again, folding forward. You can always hold on to your chair too. Let's release that now on an in-breath coming up. Take a breath. Now, if you'd like even a deeper stretch, I'm going to extend my feet almost, so my legs are almost completely straight, but never completely straight. I want a little bit of bend in the knees. Be careful, you might want to hang on to the chair here, definitely, to feel secure. Breathe in and let's fold forward. You're going to feel the stretch more up into the base of the hamstrings now. I'm going to release my hands and bring them to the floor. Do this if you feel safe. Relax your breath. Good. Ready to release. Let's do that on an in breath. Come on up and take a breath. So another thing that some folks notice when they do forward folds is that when they come up, there's a little bit of lightheadedness, kind of like a little head rush. And that's just your blood pressure trying to catch up with the rest of your body. 
So if you feel that dizziness, just sit still for a while and breathe normally and it will resolve itself. Okay. So let's come up to standing. And we'll come up through chair pose just so we get a little bit of extra abdominal work here. So moving your feet back under the chair, heels are lifted. Know that as soon as you begin to stand, the heels will drop down. Here we go. Deep breath in, exhale, heels drop down, stand up part way. So your knees should be flexed. Find that breath. Great, if you want a more intense stretch, the arms can come in front or they can reach overhead. And as you do that, you'll notice how you feel a lot more work going on in the legs. Good, inhale, exhale, lower the arms, straighten your legs and give them a little shake. So let's do our half moon series standing. But remember, if you choose to, you can always go back to the seated version. I'm gonna to come to the back of my chair. So when I'm doing the movements from side to side, I can also one hand on the chair if that's helpful to me. Good. So let's breathe in and lift the arms up. Again, if your shoulders are tight, try separating your arms. Palms together. And we're gonna arch to the right. Again, one hand can always stay on the chair. Inhale, lift up. Take a minute to lengthen through center and then exhale towards the other side. So if you notice, I'm not rolling forward or back, just directly to the side. Good, inhale, bring it up. We're gonna move into the back bend. So you have a couple of options here. Hands can stay on the chair, one or both. You can also change the position of your arms for the back bend. The arms can come out to the side or your palms can press against your lower back to give it some support. I'm gonna leave my arms extended, take a breath in and lengthen and reach back. Good, inhale, come back to center. We're going to come into our forward fold now. So let's place hands on the back of the chair. And basically what we're gonna do is a downward facing dog. So walking your feet away, begin to bend. You can walk your hands down the chair. You can even release the chair if you feel safe. I'm bringing my hands right to the floor. Let's inhale now and release, come up. Half moon to the left. And half moon to the right. Bring it up through center, palms come to rest at the heart. Take a few breaths and notice how you feel. And notice where your thoughts go. If that's the first time you've done the moon salutation standing, what was that like for you? What did you notice? Great. So I'm gonna to come to the side of my chair, to the left side of the chair. Take a nice wide step, feet apart. We're gonna come into five pointed star. Reach out with your left arm. And if you don't need it for support, release the right hand. Notice your knees. 
Soften those knees, good. Press down into your feet, move your hands away from each other and lift through your crown. Five pointed star. Let's take three complete breaths here. Good, breathe in, lower the hands. Let's prepare for triangle. So right foot turns towards the chair, left foot turns in slightly. Take your left hand and place it on your left hip. So notice if that hip is rolling towards the chair. If you can, draw it back. Good. Left arm reaches up. And we arch into triangle. Hand can stay on the chair or you can release it to the inside of your leg. A little more of a balance challenge here. Where's that breath? Good, breathe in and exhale, lower the arm down. Do a little counter stretch. Let's come into the runner stretch. So to do that, I'm gonna turn my left foot. So it's facing the chair as well. Now, as you do this fold, try to remind yourself to fold right from your hip crease. So it's a lengthening movement rather than a folding movement. So you wanna keep the back as straight as you can. Here we go, breathe in and exhale. You can place your hands on the chair or you can come a little bit further coming into those that inversion Good, hands can come to the floor. And if you want a bigger challenge this morning, just take your hands behind your back. Good, let's inhale and release, coming up. And do a little Back bend here. Good, and bring it back to neutral. So we're gonna do another standing forward fold. I'm gonna take my left foot and step it out. So the front of my body is facing the side of the chair. And we're going to do the straight legged runner stretch, but with our feet wide apart. So it's gonna stretch a slightly different part of the body. So here we go, deep breath in. And again, just like you did with runner stretch. Feel free to stop, to pause, check your knees, make sure they're not locked. And then come into whatever is your fullest expression of this pose this morning. And inhale, come on up. So I'm gonna keep my hands on the chair here and just very gently bend and straighten opposite knees. And if your knees are not liking this, feel free to just option it, it's fine. Good, come all the way up, step your feet together, pause for a couple of breaths before we go to the other side. Here we go. So moving over to the opposite side of the chair. I'm gonna step my feet out nice and wide and build that five pointed star once again. Good, press into your feet, press out through your arms and fingertips, lift through your crown. Laser focus on the breath. Bring
Ready for triangle? Here we go. So this time it's the left foot that's going to turn towards the chair. Right hand to the right hip. This is your little reminder to keep those hips open, facing front. Reaching up with your right arm and arching. See if you can touch the opposite wall. Feel safe? Release that hand from the chair. Good, deep breath in is the signal to release. And have a nice sweep up. Let's prepare for runner stretch on this side. So I'm gonna turn my right foot so it's facing the chair, comfortable stance. Good. Hinging right at the hip crease. Here we go. Hang out wherever works for you. Maybe you come just a short distance. Keep checking the knees for a little bit of softness. Remember, hands are welcome to come to the floor or behind your back for a little bit of balance challenge. Good. Inhale, come up. Again, I'm going to add that little back bend. Just feels like a natural counter stretch to a forward fold. Good. So let's separate the feet wide apart. We're going to do the same forward fold, but with our legs in a wide position. Bringing your hands again, wherever is most comfortable for you. Nice steady breath. Great, inhale, come up. I'm just gonna bend the knees again from side to side. Remember this is optional depending on how your knees are feeling this morning. Just a very bending and straightening, very gentle. Back through center, step your feet together and pause for a few breaths. So we're gonna sit back down again, but we're going to sit down through chair pose. So you wanna position your body so that the backs of your legs can touch the seat of the chair so you know where it is. Hands at the hips to begin, feet are hip width apart and parallel. Breathe in, exhale, bend your knees part way. Add the arms if you like. Good, let's release this and sit down now. So hands come to the hips, press your legs back until you feel the chair and then sit down, take a breath. Great, let's finish up with a twist. So just a very gentle twist to the left and the right. Let's just go from side to side a few more times. Just encouraging all that energy we generated to go where it needs to go to help our bodies. And back to center. Settling into your chair, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your breath, closing your eyes. Doing a little body scan, beginning with the soles of your feet ankles, calves, knees and thighs, traveling upward as you notice each part of the body in turn. Up through the hips, the chest and the back. 
up through the shoulders and out all the way to your fingertips. Unclenching your jaw. Allowing yourself to receive all of the benefits of your practice. allowing your focus to stay firmly in the present moment. Be here now. Inviting the breath to get a little bit deeper now and adding some final stretches. As I always mention, there's no right or wrong way to do this. There's just your way. I'm going to add another forward fold. The yogis say that forward folds reverse the aging process. Hmm, that's quite a thought. So bringing our practice to a close, bringing your hands to prayer position. Let's join our voices once again with the sound of Om. Deep breath. Oh. Om Shanti, peace. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from fear and may all beings everywhere know peace. Namaste, Jai Bhagwan.